So Karen was someone that even though she looked super successful on the outside, deep down on the inside, she suffered from a tremendous amount of self-loathing and body shame. And with just a few simple tools, she was able to completely transform that and really unlock and unleash a new level of radiant self-confidence. So how did she do that? And how can you do that if that's something you would love as well? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Activating self-love, three steps to stop not feeling good enough and unlock and unleash feeling amazing in your skin and loving who you truly are. Now, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jennifer Joy Jimenez, and I'm one of the co-founders of the Brave Thinking Institute, where we believe in people. We know that each one of us is far more powerful and contains more potential than any circumstance, situation, or condition. And our mission is to empower people to create and live a life they love. And I believe they deserve a vibrant and dynamically healthy life that they love. And that means you. And so step number one in activating self-love and stopping really not feeling good enough. And just so you know, if that's you and you have a deep inner wound where you know that no matter what happens, for whatever reason, you come back to this feeling of just really not ever being able to measure up. Now, first things first, that is not your fault. As a trained transformational coach. I've worked with literally thousands of heart-centered souls from all over the world to shift from deep self-loathing and not feeling good enough to expansive, radiant confidence, feeling amazing, feeling good enough, knowing and owning your superpowers and self-worth. And so one of the tools that we begin to work with when I start working with my coaching clients is to replace self-loathing with self loving thoughts, self-loving thoughts, and to really begin to practice three simple words. I am enough. Now, at first, many people don't actually believe that because maybe for years they received messages from their parents, from teachers, from mentors, from people that they trusted that they weren't tall enough or they were too short or they were too fat or too thin or their nose was too big or whatever the messages were about yourself, your personality, your looks, your abilities, your education, your brain, your age, all of these things can be really judged and judged by people that we care about. And so for many people after years, if not decades of receiving these judging critical messages, those words can feel like our own voice. And we wanna be able to recognize what is really the voice of my truth versus the voice of my limiting beliefs, the voice of all the naysayers, the critics, that somehow cre- are now a, a broken record in my mind. So it's first the metacognitive self that can hear the voice, press pause on the voice. And then when you hear those negative messages or the negative voice, you just press pause and you just simply repeat those three simple words. I am enough. And you receive a deep breath. Let's go ahead and do that together. Breathing in. and exhale and then rinse and repeat rinse and repeat just the way that the negative messages got installed as an operating system as a limiting belief as limiting voices in your mind right in the subconscious repetition will uninstall those old programs and install a new empowering belief system that you truly are enough that no matter what you look like, no matter how much money you have in the bank, no matter what kind of clothes you're wearing, you're beautiful just the way you are. You are powerful. You have unlocked potential deep within you that you can absolutely nurture and have supported to become all that you're dreaming of being. And it has nothing to do with the size of your body or the size of your bank account. 
Now, the second tool is to focus on what we call your resiliency rate. It's how quickly can you bounce back, right? So when you notice that you're in the dumps or the slumps, when you notice that you've maybe rolled out of bed on the wrong side, right? And you're just having a really tough time feeling good about yourself today, rather than focusing on that, what you focus on expands and focusing on, oh, look at me again, which then can drive very disempowering behaviors to fill the void, right? Shopping, alcohol, drugs, sugar, <laughs> food, all kinds of things that are really coping mechanisms that seek to help us fill that void. But really it's an unfillable black hole and the only way to fill yourself is to remember that you have a human self that yes, can wake up on the wrong side of the bed, can feel like you're in the dumps and you have a higher self and the higher self can tap into a source of love and light and abundance and gratitude and empowerment that is otherworldly, that is from your spiritual dimension. And as you tap into that energy through a few powerful resources. Some of those resources that I work with are inspiring, empowering music, free flowing movement, free flowing movement and dance. Now I like conscious dance or mindful movement, not fancy or complicated choreography. No, this is just closing your eyes to some really uplifting songs or beats and just letting your body dance, letting your soul dance you. It's one of my favorite and most powerful transformational tools. Having affirmations around, if you have posters or something on your desk, even a sticky note that says, I am enough, I am great, I am powerful. The truth is I am a source of love, right? I am loved and I am lovable. All of those kinds of affirmations can be a real difference. Remembering to celebrate your little wins and appreciate, turn up the energy of appreciate, whatever you appreciate, uh, appreciates and put yourself in the circle of your own love. So often we wake up burned out because we've given all of our life force energy to our work, to our kids, to our parents, to our pets, to everything around us. And we forget to put our own self in the circle of love. So those are some tools to really support you in your rate of resiliency. And the third is to shift comparison despair to appreciation and love. Probably one of the most toxic energies or aspects that can really lower your sense of self-love, right? Is comparison despair. It's very toxic. Oftentimes we look outside of ourselves. We're looking on social media, comparing our current worst day to everybody's social media best day. And so first of all, you want to do definitely a social media and cell phone fast, right? And read a book, take a bath, take a walk in nature, begin to shift and eliminate the comparison despair and really look for things that you can appreciate and be grateful for. So I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for our time together today. If you're grateful for these tips and you know a friend, family member, colleague, or coworker that could use this, please forward and share this video. Like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And until next time, continue to think outside the box, think bravely, act boldly, and create the vibrant, healthy life that you deserve. Bye for now.